Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a system image backup of your Windows 11 computer. So this tutorial will apply for Windows 10 and earlier versions of Windows as well. So if you want to create a system image backup, which is a older kind of backup, but it's been part of Windows for a while, we're going to walk through those steps and kind of highlight a little bit about what it does in the process of setting it up. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu, type in control panel, best match, should go back with control panel. So go ahead and open that up. You want to select the view by and then category view and select system and security. Now you want to go down and select file history. So go ahead and left click on that. On the left side, you want to select system image backup. Let's go ahead and select that. And now you're going to select where it says create a system image. So a system image is a copy of the drivers required for Windows to run. It can also include additional drivers. A system image can be used to restore your computer if your hard drive or computer ever stops working. However, you can choose individual items to restore. So if you're familiar with the Windows recovery settings, there's an option to upload a system image backup. And this is the system image, by the way, if you were ever curious. So at this point, you go ahead and put it on another hard drive if there's one available to be reused. You can't put it on the hard drive where Windows installed. You'd have to have a secondary hard drive or flash drive plugged in. You can also do a network location as well, or you could do a DVD, and then you would select Next. You would confirm what drives you want to have backed up. So you could see it has our C drive, which is the main primary drive on our computer. And then you would select Start Backup. So it begins saving the backup here on your drive, wherever you may have saved it to. And just go ahead and let it actually do the backup. My drive isn't big enough. It needs to be bigger than one gigabyte. So that's why it's stopping us halfway through. But just wanted to give you guys a demonstration of what that setup looks like. And that's pretty much it. There really isn't that much more to show there. If you're booting from the Windows Setup Wizard and you're going into the Setup Repair options, in the Advanced Options, there would be an option to do a System Image Recovery. And then you would select that, and then you could go ahead and actually get it back from this backup here. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.